with the Indian as an obstacle to the progress of settlement and industry. They must yield or perish. Their communal land ownership, their heathenism, indeed everything about them, puts them in a position altogether barbarous and incompatible with civilization and social progress. Come out of your blanket, cut your hair, and dress like a white man. Do not go to Indian dances or to the medicine men. Come out of your blanket, cut your hair, and dress like a white man. Do not go to Indian dances or to the medicine men. of this land are destined for the occupancy and sustenance of the Anglo-Saxon race. The wealth that for untold ages has lain hidden beneath the snow-capped summits of our mountains has been placed there by providence to reward our brave spirits whose lot it is, is to compose the advance guard of civilization. These Indians must stand aside or be overwhelmed by the ever-advancing and ever-increasing tide of immigration. The destiny of Aborigines is written in characters not to be mistaken. The same inscrutable arbiter that decreed the downfall of Rome has pronounced the doom of extinction upon the red men of America. Come out of your blanket, cut your hair, and dress like a white man. Do not go to Indian dances or to the medicine men. Let Jesus save you. Come out of your blanket, cut your hair, and dress like a white man. Have a Christian family, with one wife for life only. Live in a house like your white brother. Work hard and wash often. Learn the value of a hard-earned dollar. Do not waste your money on giveaways. Be punctual. Keep away from saloons and strong spirits. Speak the language of your white brother. Send your children to school to do likewise. Go to church often do and regularly. Money and give do not go to Indian dances only. or to the Learn medicine the Keep away from so we believe that property and, and wealth were kinds of divine and wash of Live in a house. Let Jesus save you.